Hello, I'm Chris Waddell. Welcome back to 60 Seconds on Paralympic Sport TV, where we are looking at the stories and the highlights from the Paralympics. Stories and the highlights for the Paralympics for me, looking at just the crowds that are coming out here. Paralympic athletes have not competed in these kind, in front of these kinds of crowds. The the cube, the the bird's nest, have been sold out. There've been just a tremendous amount of energy. People coming in from all over the world, and this, in a lot of ways, is the representation of what's going on in Paralympic sport and something that'll go on in the future. An incident happened during the 5,000 meter women's race in the T54. All athletes were on the last 500 meters when a collision happened. Six athletes were falling, only five could make it to the finish line. Canadian Diane Roy was the lucky and unlucky one. She got the gold medal in 11.45.03 and she set a new Paralympic record. But the happiness was not for too long. Three other nations filling protests to the Federation. Although the medals had been handed over, it looks like the race is to be run again. A new world record was set in the men's shot put final in the bird's nest in Beijing on day two. The defending champion from Athens grabbed again the gold medal and showed his strength. 70 meters and 89 centimeters. What a dramatic event happened on day two in the Beijing 2008 Velodrome. The one kilometer time trial record was battered no less than six times. Anthony Capers from Great Britain was the star in the category of the visual impaired. Guided by his pilot Bernie Story, they managed to break again. 57.266 seconds. Both left the Australian team with Ben Demery and pilot Sean Hopkins behind. The bronze medal went to their teammates, Kyron Modra and Tyson Lawrence. Statement from Capas after the win. They are so much training to win the gold medals. Teammates, families and friends. All these people to support you. You know, it is for all these people. Congratulations from the 60 Seconds team. The prelims basketball match Japan versus Germany was a thriller on day two. Only five seconds were left at the very end when Shingo Fuji made the last two points for Team Japan. 58-56, the final score at the National Indoor Stadium in Beijing. Japan could rely on more time on their best scorer Hiroaki Kosai, who managed to score 20 points in total. In terms of statistics, the German team played good, but at the end not good enough. 62% of their free throws were successful but they were hindered by a lower field goal. Next opponent for the Germans will be South Africa and Japan is facing the team from Iran. I'm Chris Waddell. Thanks again for joining us for another 60 Seconds, the stories and highlights from the Paralympics. It's been a great day and there will be more great days coming up. Please continue to join us on Paralympic Sport TV. Thank you.